Hi, in this video we're going to show you how to install and use the open shell uh, start menu replacement on Windows 11. So what this will do is it'll allow you to have a, uh, a Windows 7 style start menu or even a Windows XP start menu if you want to go back, back that far. So this was commonly used on Windows 10 and it was called classic shell back in the old days and now it's called uh, open shell. Uh, but it works kind of the same way, you can still use it on Windows 11. So first thing you need to do is go to the website and download it. I'll put a link in the description. And so once you're here, you want to find the download section. And then there's like a pre-release section if you want to do like a beta version. You know, there might be some bugs in it, so it's up to you if you want to try that. Or you could just go down to the latest stable version here, click on that, and find the open shell executable, click on that. And then just run it from where you downloaded it. Click on next. Set the license agreement, next, next, install, yes to the user can control prompt, and then we're finished. So normally, uh, back in Windows 10, once you installed and you clicked on start, it, it would prompt you for what style menu you, you wanted to use, but with this one you need to find the uh, actual open shell application. And then you want to find open shell menu settings. There's like an update uh, icon and some other stuff, but you want to make sure you find open shell menu settings. And then from here, this might look familiar. So, you know, uh, here's a really old style. And then if you want to go to the Windows 7 style, which is what most people use, you click on that. And now the catch is if you click on OK, nothing happens. So what you need to do Go back to the open shell menu settings, and you're going to have to replace the start button. So you could use the arrow version or classic, or you could, you know, put your own JPEG if you want to maybe put an image of this, you know, start button there, and then you could, it'll kind of look the same. So let's just go with that for now. And you click OK. So, but now you'll notice your start button's here and your start button's here. So if you click on this, you get the regular menu, and you click on this, you get the... Uh, open shell Windows 7 style menu, but that might be kind of cool if what you want. But what you could do to get around that, if you right click on the taskbar, go to taskbar settings, and then you want to scroll down to taskbar behaviors and change the alignment from center to left, and then you'll have it right there. It's, it's kind of in the background there, but this is covering it, and you just have one start button. So it's up to you if you want to be able to have, you know, just the Windows 7, or if you put it back to center, Then you could actually have both start menus, and which might be kind of a cool feature, which you didn't have back in Windows 10. So anyway, so once again, just uh, go to the website, uh, download the software, install it, uh, do a search for Open Shell, and make sure you find the Open Shell settings, not the Open Shell update, or I think there's a couple others in there. And then pick your style, which is most likely going to be Windows 7. Make sure you choose the replace start button, otherwise it'll be going away and it's not going to do you any good. And then you could, you know, like I said, if you take a screenshot of that, save it as a JPEG or whatever, and then you could kind of do your custom image and have it kind of match up and it'll look like it's supposed to be there. Okay, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe.